Hi, my name is Sam and this is a Pergeus tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to do an absolute permeability simulation using the petrophysics module in Pergeus. So the first five steps I'm going to skip over and go through really quickly. If you need more details on how to do any of the image segmentation or do more complex stuff like that, please check out the video on the left side of the screen. All right, so to start out, we're going to go to File, Open Data, and we're going to go to Tutorials. We're going to go to Compact, XLab. We're going to go to 10MCS underscore 200 volume dot AM. So just to get a visualization of this, we can see the voxel size is 3.8, which is what we want for the data. So make sure when you, when you import the data, if it does not already have units in it, you will be asked to import units. Like if we open the 400 one, it says, what units do we want to set? In this case, it's micrometer, but still the voxel size is off. It's supposed to be 3.8, not 1.9. So, okay, now I'm just going to delete that and we can go back to one with the actual units on it. To change the units, you can just change the voxel size like that. Okay, so to start out, we're going to go into visualization and we're going to go to just volume rendering and we're just going to get a simple volume rendering of the data. Our next goal is to create a label image with the pore segmented and the rock segmented in two different labels. So to start out, we're going to go to filtering and we're going to go to median. We're going to just use the median filter, which you can type in median filter and just click enter. I want to change it to interpretation 3D. And all the, we can leave all the other settings the same. Give it a sec. All right, there we go. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the segmentation workspace and we're just going to use the auto thresholding module and select the volume filtered, auto threshold high, and we're all good. And we're just going to click apply. And then we want to go down to the segmentation panel and click on the inside and we want to click plus. So this adds it to the inside. So now that we have it segmented, we're going to do a non percolating void space test. So what this will do is it will remove all the spots where you cannot where liquid cannot enter and exit. So to do this test, if you want to hear more about the test, please read the Pergeos documentation. It has some pretty good explanations about how this works. So to go to editing, then we go into, we use the invert operation. I'm going to click enter and we're going to click just apply inverted. And then we have to go to analysis and we're going to do an axis connectivity analysis and just double click on that. And we're just going to click apply. So now that we have this, we're going to go into the next part and we're going to select a sub re region using an ROI box. So we're going to go to the visualization workspace and just search ROI box for volume rendering. Or just ROI box. So now that we have there, sorry, just let me delete a few of these. Boom. Yeah. Don't need the volume rendering. We don't need this. We don't need this. So we just want the ROI box. So we're going to change, you can change the minimum and maximum to whatever your data needs it to be. But for us, we're going to change it to 285, 285, 285 by 4. 73.1 sorry just let just let me copy and paste this into the other ones just like that and now we have the center square of that so we can see that just using the volume rendering if we make it more transparent we can see that this is in the center. 
Okay, so the next part is we're going to go into that, we're going to actually do the absolute permeability experiment simulation. So to start out, we're going to go to the characterization workspace and we're going to do the absolute, we're going to search for absolute permeability experiment simulation, click enter. So then we're going to click, we have want the axis connectivity, we want our ROI box, and we want to select the support space one because we inverted it. If you did not invert it, you would just select zero. You want to select, yeah. So we're going to use the GPU. If you don't have a GPU, you use the CPU, but it's going to be slower. We can change the direction and a bunch of different things. You can create a new spreadsheet or append the result to our current spreadsheet. We can change all these different values, but we are not going to. If you want to, you can, and just experiment with it. But, yeah. All right, so we're gonna click apply. All right, so it just ran it through. Then we're going to go to visualize this data. We're going to go back to the visualization workspace. Sorry for all the moving around. It's a... Okay, so from the characterization workspace, we're going to go to the modeling workspace and we're going to create a magnitude thing, but you can just search and then double click like that. And we're going to do it a velocity Z. Then we're going to go to the visualization workspace and use something called illuminated streamlines. So you can search it just by searching in the tools browser. And we're going to take the color field of volume of the magnitude thing we just created and we're going to change some of these values so first we're going to change the number of lines to 500 this to 250 and we're going to change this to animate and we're going to change this to equalize sorry if i skipped over that quickly you can pause the video now and look at it we're going to click hide we're going to click also, make sure to change this to the physics module and change this value. This is probably the most important part. It's 1.6000E plus 06. And if we click apply, we can, actually, we can see how the fluid would flow through the rock. You can play around with these values, changing the number of lines. And just generally changing all these different things like this to make it look either more or less exact. And there's all there's a bunch of different things you can do. If you hit the fade up to one, they won't look like anything's flying. But if it's here, it will look like a lot of stuff. If we change the length, step size, you can just play around and make what you want. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to use something called the height map slide. So to start out, we're going to just search height map slice in the tool browser, click enter. And we want to make sure to hide illuminated streamlines. And we're going to go down to here and we're going to make sure to select pressure Z. And we're going to change this from, this, from grayscale to temperature. And we're going to set these to about 128000 and 10 to Ten zero two five zero zero, and we're going to change it to X Z, and we're going to keep it on twenty six, and we're going to change the scale to one, so we can see it like this, and we're going to keep everything else the same. So now, if we zoom out, we can see how the liquid would flow through this. It goes from there to there, and then back out there. I think this is extremely cool and thanks so much for watching. Please come back, watch another video, so like, subscribe. I'll be back with another Progeos tutorial on abs the absolute permeability tensor calculation. All right. Thanks so much for watching.